Greetings to another Steel Beast 4.3 preview video. Uh, today I want to look into some uh, new features uh, with drones and also into a new weapon station for the Dingo um, AFV. Okay, first to the drone issues. There is a new context menu, which allows you to edit the drones uh, an infantry or a, a scout section can carry. So in this case, um, I'm picking the good old quadcopter. And now you actually have the option to uh, change its capabilities. Uh, so in order to basically simulate different types of, um, of um, UAVs. So, uh, so far, at, uh, the quadcopter in-game had a very limited um, range. So you can slide that now between 0 and 100 kilometers. Well, this is, uh, for this type of drone, rather unrealistic. Uh, also, this is quite on the far edge. So I'm taking this, get the maximum speed up just for convenience and set the endurance to also unrealistic lo long time just for demonstration. And the second up. There we are done. And let's save it and check it out in the 3D world. All right. There we are. And before we get to the obvious, uh, let's move the vehicle a little bit forward. and play a little situation where we could use that stuff. First, I want to dismount the infantry, go to the infantry team monitor, and here with the drone present, I can activate the drone context menu. And control it as usual. As you can see, this drone can now fly rather fast. And let me fast forward to what I want to look at. So, now my little drone has found a couple of high value targets and um, further than my direct weapon can reach. So let's see what we can do about it. Actually, we have the position of our drone. So let's dismount the second support vehicle. You will instantly see that these guys are that these guys are carrying a pretty big container which we can set up and then it's a matter of launching that we'll have a new kind of compass system where we have here in the middle section, the drain drone flight direction, which will change as I'm changing the point of view of the payload and which will change course if I use the standard movement keys, uh, WASD. But I also have the option to set it on a fly rod for navigation.
lights up. This will cause the drone to now fly on the, the predetermined path. You can change the flight height. I just don't want to do that now. You have all the typical options with day and night camera, a sensor fusion mode where hotspots get highlighted in the daylight view, view, as we see over here. Okay, let's fast forward. Blah. Okay, and there we have our targets. Now let's arm the drone and fire. So basically you can set a navigation course towards where uh, your recon drone is and then well, bringing the effector drone Which will then go on an intercept course. And go into your selected target. Okay, now using the other drone, we can do a little bit of a BDA. smoke path we can lose both tracks and a look at the red party shows us that is one artillery piece le uh, less okay so that uh, was one part of the drone interface, the drone context menu in the scenario editor, and now let's have a look at these uh, weapon station that have been placed on the dingoes. Um, this is basically the uh, ROS weapon station uh, from FN Herstal. It's the predecessor of the Arrows uh, remote weapon station um, that the uh, Piranha, the, the Belgish Piranha vehicle already has in uh, Steel Beast. And uh, it's, yeah, the older and simpler system. It's lacking basically what is a fire control computer. So you can, you have a stabilized view. You have quite a pretty good, you have a pretty good zoom where you can zone into targets with all the shooting you have these uh, range estimation brackets at the sides and basically all the shooting has to be done manually same for the uh, thermal imager. Weapon mounted here is a FN Mac machine gun, 7.62 uh, millimeter by 51. Um, yeah, one option do you have? You can uh, wait. You can basically change the. Reticle color, let's take a nice blue here. Uh, how does that work? There we go. So, makes it easier to see the 
sides against the bright backgrounds. And that's basically it. Simple, uh, relative easy to use. I don't like the way it's zooming, that's pretty slow. And probably the reason might be that I don't have a good idea about all of the controls yet. From the look outside, you have eight smoke uh, grenade launchers. You have a dust protection cover over the machine gun. You have smoke discharge system on the left. And that's basically it. The same weapon station upscaled, which gives you 210-ish rounds for the Twelve point seven millimeter machine gun, also different uh, range estimation brackets. Uh, the seven point six two, by the way, gives you uh, five hundred rounds. And there you go. Also a simple uh, stabilized sight, no laser rangefinder, a thermal imager, and that's it. Simple enough to use, and I think for most of the application in Steel Beast, quite usable. You can also smire the, uh, fire the smoke disc, uh, grenade launchers. And yeah, basically, that is the dingo as used. by the Belgish army. With now um, remote weapon station that's also been in use by the Belgish army. So a little bit more of correctness, so to speak. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.